Yo, what is good fam? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I woke up today not really feeling like in the mood to film, but I got up and started moving around. I was like, all right, bro, let's just get the day started. Let's get rolling. I, I think I'm gonna do like multiple days in the life in this video. Just kind of put the days together and see what we can come up with. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all enjoy the video. If y'all do enjoy this video, man, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Today is actually May, Monday, 29th. I gotta go to the store. I literally have nothing in my fridge. My fridge is looking like down bad disastrous then i gotta go to the gym and then we're supposed to have like a little pool day with adrian and her family so today should be a good day um the miami heat play tonight too so i'm really looking forward to that i'm honestly feeling pretty good i woke up this morning at 193 so that's a plus your boys been making sure to get in this food this weekend that's one thing about me bro i'm not the best at getting in all my food so i've been trying to stress to myself to get in my food as much as i can so that like, i can better well set up during the week you know what i'm saying as a powerlifter, the main like objective is to be strong and food is one of the main energy sources for that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be well fed to feel strong and move some heavy weight. So yeah, we're gonna go to the grocery store, re-up on some food, come back, make a little breakfast, and then go to the gym. I'm gonna take y'all right along with me. All right, fans, so we just put up to the grocery store. I decided I'm gonna take y'all inside with me. I don't really record like that on the camera, especially for YouTube, like in very public places, especially like a grocery store. But fuck it, let's see y'all. Let's roll with it today and let's see what the vibes is bringing man my ass ain't been in an Aldi in forever bro I feel like I'm in a whole different territory and not like no regular grocery store you feel me it's like kind of different it's like a UK it's like a UK type of store I don't know how to describe it but I'm here for the essentials you feel me I need bagels I need everything bro like I said I'm down bad on food bro at the crib ski right now no food so gonna restock on everything see what we can come up with and get let's get these bagels right here these cinnamon raisin yeah cinnamon raisin oh Always a good pickup. Oh, this is such a funny angle. Focus. All right, back. Yeah, we just got some cinnamon raisin bagels. Adri be liking the everything bagels. Don't be really hitting for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's either blueberries, cinnamon swirl, or plain. Them everything Jones. You can keep me off of that Jones. All right, I had to turn down the lighting a bit because the lighting was a little messed up coming in here. But I had to pick up these brioche buns, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If you got an Aldi by you and you got some brioche buns in there, because for me, I be making like burgers, whether it's ground meat or chicken or literally the only two burgers to make or some turkey burgers or even the breakfast sandwiches these brioche buns super clutch now you can use the bagels for the breakfast sandwiches but the brioche buns they just taste a little bit better you know what i'm saying just a little bit sweeter you feel me it's, it's nice i'm putting you on for real i'm putting you on now i'm telling y'all like i said before in a, like a previous video i don't really like the sugary cereals no more they just don't sit that well in my stomach it's not the best for me either so i've been going with these healthier options of cereal you feel me these multi-grain cereals of course they still got sugar in it but just not as much as the cinnamon toast crunch or the frosted flakes you feel me and if you know me your boy loves to get down some reese's puffs so using this as a substitute you know what i'm saying kill the cravings you know what i'm saying and still get my cereal in and like i said it's a nice little pre-workout meal i'll probably eat this pre-workout today for the gym to be honest with you all right so i said i didn't know if i was gonna show y'all the full grocery haul in the store but might as well just show y'all the full grocery haul in the store so right here we got some sharp reduced fat cheese you feel me it's crazy because it's only from like nine percent nine grams of fat to six grams of fat which isn't the biggest reduction but but hey, I'll take it. Any points we can save on fat when we count the macros, you best believe your boy gonna take it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how to make very good diet conscious decisions while you're in the grocery store, you feel me? So I seen this little uh, cheesecake platter right here, and trust me, I've had that at home back in VA. That shit is gas, my G, but we're gonna pass up on it today. You know why? Because we're gonna settle for the healthier option. Ooh, let me grab this right here. We're gonna get these Chobani confetti cup, um, confetti birthday cake flip cups. You feel me now is that gonna taste as good as the cheesecake no for sure not my g but we're gonna save on fat we're gonna get our protein in way better with that and honestly you probably gonna feel a lot better after eating that than you is gonna feel after eating this cheesecake all right so make sure y'all making them health conscious decisions bro it's okay just you know what i'm saying settle for the lower calories you ain't gonna be mad at yourself you're gonna feel better after eating that than you would after the cheesecake bro i'm giving y'all the game for free bro if y'all not picking it up that's not my fault i'm gonna pick up this pork al pastor you feel me. I know y'all been to Chipotle and y'all seen that chicken at past door, so I'm like, all right, bro. They be putting this over my rice in Chipotle. This might be good at the crib, you feel me? So I grabbed two packs of these, which is super clutch. We're honestly almost done with this grocery haul. I just need some milk and maybe some more meat foods, you know what I'm saying? Some more foods that I can have for lunch and dinner, because breakfast, I be having a lot of breakfast foods, bro, but I need that, because honestly, my, my stomach does the best with breakfast foods. But all right, let me continue this haul real quick and get back to y'all in a minute, man. 
All right, so lately, at least for like the past, ever since I've been in Houston, I ever since I moved to Texas, I've been rocking with just rice for my main carb source for my big meals. But today, we're going to use this pasta. I'm going to pick up this pasta and give it a try this week. I might even cook it for y'all today to see what it's busting like, you know what I'm saying? See what you're already hitting for. But we should see. I like tortellini the most out of all the pastas, but this for, I'm not going to go try this. I'm not going to act like I know how to pronounce it, bro. We're going to pick up this pasta and uh, get back to the rest of the grocery haul, man. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of sick. They don't get the fat-free milk. And if you know how I like to get down, bro, I like to keep the fat as low as possible, but they got the reduced fat milk. So you're going to head and pick it up. And that might be the end of the grocery haul, bro. I only needed to come in here for a few things. Got my chicken, got my paper towels, got my cereal, got my, my carb source, my pasta, my buns, my bagels, some Greek yogurt, some cheese. We basically done. Even got some avocado oil spray. You feel me? Hey, your boy been productive, bro. Came in here, got exactly what I needed. Uh, might get some juice. Head about this joint, then I'll catch y'all back at the crib, man. All right, fam. So your boy is running late as always. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick overview of the grocery haul real quick, and then I'm gonna get ready for the gym, man. So first, like I said, we got that reduced fat cheese right here. Going quick. We doing this like speed rounds, bro. Two bags of pasta. Then we got the brioche buns, the classic staple. Had to pick some cream cheese up for our bagels. The bagels I was just talking about. That confetti birthday cake, Greek yogurt, so your boy don't go crazy on his diet. Some multi-balanced, well, good for your stomach cereal. The cinnamon flavor. Got some nice flavor to it, man. Some chicken patties, just because I need more protein, and these are a great source of protein with low fat. Six grams of fat, 27 grams of protein. Immaculate, my G. Then we got the pork al pastor. We actually got two packs of pork al pastor. Orange juice, 50 calorie orange juice, clutch. Reduced fat milk, some olive oil spray, some extra virgin olive oil spray. Gotta be specific. Some paper towels, you know what I'm saying? And then a couple of energy drinks, man. All right, Tony, so that's the full grocery haul. Now we're gonna get ready for the next time you'll see me. I'm gonna be ready for the gym. You ready? Hit the fit checks for when I'm going to the gym and I do I post those on like TikTok on my Instagram story, but I thought I might as well show y'all the fit real quick before we head to the gym. Got the cool grays on feet, no free clout, and then we got the better beater on to, on top, you feel me, with the double chains and showing my boy Chef some love with the RP wristbands. And we got the RP socks on, you feel me? W friend. But I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm already late, I'm not gonna lie. We're supposed to go to the pool after the gym, but it's one o'clock right now, and your boy still is at the crib, so we're gonna see how this timetable works out, but it's all going well. It's all gonna go smooth, bro. We're gonna have a good-ass day in the gym. All right, and I'm talking, bro. I gotta get going. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> all right, so we made it to CS. As you can see, we're at Corrupted Strength right now. I'm not gonna lie, my energy is buns, cakes, zero, but we're gonna make sure the weight moves today. I got an RPE six, I believe. I gotta check the sheet one more time. RPE six, weight goal or the weight range that I'm shooting for, 270, 275. Should be a smooth day, you know what I'm saying? We'll see if I do my accessories. Coach said we're gonna cut back on the accessories, so we're not gonna be doing them as much anymore. The main important thing is just making sure we recover well enough for our compounds such as bench, squat, and deadlift. So today we may not push the accessories crazy. We're gonna make sure this, this bench moves smooth as cheese, you feel me? So we're gonna stretch, warm up, and then we're gonna get real active, man. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like some tension in the shoulders. So we're gonna keep moving through the weight and see what my body gives us today. If we can't hit the numbers that we try and hit today, then we're just gonna, we're gonna call it. All right, so we just hit 155. We got 198 on the bar right now. After this, probably jump up to 220, and we'll see where we go from there. Oh, damn, bro, my shit feel like ass. That felt a lot better than 198. I'm not even gonna hold you. Ah, I don't know. I 
I feel about that. All right, bro. So right now we got 270 on the bar, RPE 7. I'm not gonna lie, that last clip y'all just saw, the weight felt kind of like heavy, but it moved super smooth. Once I played it back and compared it to all the other reps, I was like, damn, that jump moved like exactly how it should. So we're gonna take this 270 for a spin. I'm gonna move this shit like cheese. I'm just saying that now. I'm not gonna think no failure, you feel me? This is gonna really tell me where we're gonna be at with bench, because we got RPE 9 here in about two weeks. So yeah, we try to make sure we execute this perfectly, bro. Oh. Alright bro, so that set at 270 wasn't like perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it did feel a bit heavy. Um, I don't know if I'll say we overshot. I don't know if that's exactly how it should move. We'll see. I gotta get the co feedback from coach. But right now we got back downs at 225, 226. Trying to make sure these move really smooth. Damn, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like, everything today just feels heavy as fuck. I don't know what it is, bro. Maybe it's because I didn't really get that much good sleep last night. I went to sleep, not gonna lie, like three, four o'clock in the morning. Your boy was just up watching movies. So yeah, that's definitely my fault. I can feel it in my body. Like my traps and my shoulders, bro, extra beat up right now, like extra beat up. But I'm gonna knock the rest of this workout out. I'll probably talk to y'all once I finish up in the gym, bro. All right, bro, so your boy just got out of the gym. I'm not gonna lie, the gym session today was pretty eh. It's just my fault, honestly. Today's one of those days that you gotta take on the chin because nobody else is to blame but you. Like, my food has been good the past couple of days ever since Friday, I've been waking up at 193 steady, but my sleep has been so bad, bro. Like I've been going to sleep at like, later than 2, 3 p.m. Last night I went to sleep at like four o'clock, woke up at nine. So that's like five hours of sleep, you know what I'm saying? So I have nobody else to blame but myself for feeling this way. Like I just wasn't sleeping enough, wasn't nurturing my body well enough, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, probably not getting enough water and food if I'm staying up that late and sleeping that short, you know what I mean? So today's one of those days that I just like, you gotta look in the mirror and realize like, dang, I need to be better, I need to do better. Cause like, one thing about me is I, I really do pride myself on holding myself accountable and I can't be slipping up like this close to the meat, you know what I'm saying? I'm three weeks out and my coach can program me the best she can, give me the best tips on form all of that but if i'm not the one executing on the back end then it's my fault definitely gotta take today on the chin take too much weight on it learn from today execute better going forward and just make sure for the prep on this meet and for the rest of this off season that we building up to our next meet that we really executing bro i can't be i can't be slacking like this man i'm actually kind of mad at myself but so now we about to go back to the crib get some chicken eat a little bit because i just need some food in my body and then go meet adri and her family at the pool if they still there they probably still gonna be there I woke up to like 99 missed calls That's like 99 people I probably pissed off Like damn nigga I was on a jail call Damn niggas make me hate my cell phone Yo, what's good fam and welcome back to day two of this video, you feel me? Yesterday was the first part of this vlog, today is day two of the vlog, you can kind of catch along. But your boy's just chilling, watching some uh, Skip and Shannon on the TV, woke up about around 8.14, 8.15, that's the time I saw my clock. Been editing for y'all, so y'all will see a new TikTok up and, well, y'all not gonna see it by the time this video is out, the TikToks and the Instagram posts would have been made, but I'm about to post on TikTok in like 10, 15 minutes, and then post on Instagram probably later on in like an hour. Woke up, felt good today. We was using this little heating pad that I ordered off of Amazon to lay on my back just to feel, I don't have like any pain in my back, but one thing I've learned being like an athlete and playing sports is you wanna prevent injury. So you wanna be taking care of your body as much as possible. So laying on the heating pad, foam rolling, stretching, doing my mobility work, those type of things, that will help me prevent injury as much as possible. I'm finna get the day started, so let's get going, man. All right, fam, so one thing I've been trying to make a, a priority is measuring out my food. I'm actually really bad at doing, being consistent with this. Just cause sometimes I'll forget to like actually scan my food in and measure it out. But I'm gonna do that for y'all today on camera so y'all know I'm not bull I'm not I'm not lying with y'all or playing with y'all, you feel me? 
So this bowl of cereal right here, just the cereal alone, is 484 calories, 102 carbs, which is magnificent. Let's check on that bagel. Let's see what that bagel rings in at. So that bagel is going to be 280 calories and 55 grams of carbs. So that means we get in like 155 grams of carbs right off the bat. So we're going to go into this workout feeling magnificent, bro. Then we got uh, squat, pod squats, and deadlifts. So yeah, guys, stay off the feet. Just get ready for the workout. Yo, my bitch, uh -huh. I came from there, I don't want shit with that. Now they sit there and stare at my whip. Oh, they none of them niggas with it at all. They got damn little dicks. None of them. We got when it's spring, summer, fall. Without my hand on the stick. And I politely pull up in the brand new car. Man, it's the opposite to man. Oh, jeez. All right, fam. So we just finished up on um, pod squats for the day. Now we got deadlifts, pod squat move immaculately. My top set was 330 at RPE 6, and we had 275 for three sets of five for our back downs. That shit moved exactly how I wanted to move, honestly. Like, that 330 pod squat got me very confident going into our primary squat day on Saturday this week. So it should be good. But now we got our primary, de primary deadlift, and uh, I'm just going to get to work, bro. I don't feel like talking too much. I'd rather just focus on the workout at the task at hand and get to it. So I'll talk to y'all probably after I finish my top set on these deadlifts. I've been gay less. Like damn my nigga I'm in the studio Last time I dropped the album was like a year ago 
Yeah, you telling me you starving, but I bend it all like growing up. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner wasn't cereal. I know it's up. You just wanna be all in the videos and smoke it up. I know you ain't really with the sis, but you just throw it up. Pretty bitches in my city, litty, they just going up. Nigga, you just wanna be around me, cause my money up. Heard them goofy niggas try and lie me, they don't wanna smoke with us. Had the papa addy, I was down, yeah, had to focus up. Alright, fam, so we just finished up training. Honestly, today was a really good day in the gym, bro. Like, today was a really good workout on prep. At first, as you can, if you see in the clips where I'm uh, pulling on deadlift, my 430 going into my 470 set. My 470 set was executed way better than my 430. Um, if you look back at the clips, my 430 just kind of moved slow just because I didn't wedge properly coming into it. And then if you look at the 470, you can tell my wedging was a lot better and I pulled it off the ground with ease. So yeah, we're just we're just working, bro. Working, trying to make sure we're getting like exactly everything we need to fall into order. Trying to make sure we're not messing up on none of our lifts. Trying to make sure our form is the best it can be, bro. Like that's one thing I really like about having Adrian as my coach and having other people in Corrupted to help me is just that I can get immediate feedback and I'm not waiting on somebody to get back to me. I can get the feedback that I need and make the adjustments I need like right then and there. So I'm just really happy with how prep is going so far. Um, by the time that I'm recording this video, I am about three weeks and a couple days out. So um, just trying to make sure we're prioritizing recovery, making sure I'm staying off my feet, still moving, still getting my 10K steps in, but trying to stay off my feet as much as possible in a good way and make sure I'm eating properly. Right now, I'm about to go to AJ's crib, just do some work and chill out, eat some food, you know what I'm saying, get off of my feet and probably go for a walk again later on in the day. Um, today is just gonna be kind of like a chill rest of the day, so I'm gonna finish off the video right here. I appreciate Appreciate all the support thank you for tuning in i know this video is a little different than the videos i usually shoot with uh franco um he got sick over the weekend he got like sick on like thursday friday and he's been feeling kind of under the weather so i told bro yo just relax i don't want to put you in a situation where you in the gym trying to record and you feeling sick and shit like that so yeah just chill give him a uh, couple days off so we just recording i know the videos are a little different like the style is a little different but honestly i like it like i kind of want to bring more of this style to the youtube where i'm just vlogging all the content and still have him shoot some videos here and there as well but i do like when i can just vlog for y'all and y'all get this like real raw interaction with me where it's like only me holding the camera only me filming and shit like that but i hope y'all enjoyed the video man i hope y'all enjoy the journey the process of seeing me really trying to take on powerlifting for real man i appreciate the love and support y'all always show please type in the comments thank you chris i love y'all i'll catch you on the next video man